Hi everyone, Charlie here with Drug Addictions. I just want to start my video off like I start all my videos and say, in no way do I claim that I'm professional. Um, everything I tell you guys is just from personal experience. Um, I hope everyone's out there staying safe and, and going by your, uh, you know, you're supposed to be quarantined and if you do have COVID-19, that you do quarantine yourself for the 12 or 14 days, whatever it is. Um, and just, you know, respect the neighbor, your, thy neighbor, and just, you know, do what the government asks. And uh, hopefully we can get this under control. Um, I personally, uh, I think it's been blown way out of proportion. I, I think that people, are, the media right away always blows anything out of proportion. That's pretty much their job. Um, scaring a lot of people like I went into Home Depot with my dad yesterday I think it was and uh, they have something in there where it shows the hand sanitizer but they have on the ground reflective tape and they have written in between it it was a rectangle with the lines through it, like uh, beside a handicapped parking spot but in the building and it says something about uh, this is what six feet looks like the distance you're supposed to stay away from people um, but it has people in such fear that the lines had six people away. People were getting angry with people. Like there wasn't a lot of people in there, but there was individuals getting mad if you weren't six feet apart. My dad went to ask a question and he was about four feet away from the, the girl and she literally backed away six feet. So it's it's put a lot of fear into people and I, I, I think it's the, the media shouldn't do what they do. You know, they shouldn't be scaring people and especially the people that are making money off fear. You know, that's not what my video today is about. I just, I wanted to throw that out there and I, I don't think it's cool what, what the media does and what people are doing, making money on people's fear. Now to the main point of my video, personal hygiene when using drugs. Um, there's a lot of things where I could go with this, but I'm only going to touch base on a few things. Um, personal hygiene one, what you should do as a normal person, I'm not saying people who use drugs aren't normal, I, just as somebody that's never been around drugs or anything, your normal should be showering at least a few times a week. Uh, brushing your teeth, you know, just keeping yourself clean. That's what you should do. That's, that's, you know, why we have indoor water. That's why we, you know what I mean? Over time, that's why we have what we have is shampoos and toothpaste and blah, blah, blah. Keep ourselves clean. Um, in saying this, uh, I noticed as people use drugs like myself, when I was a, uh, a drug addict, I, uh, I, my, my cleanliness didn't bother me as much as, you know, getting high or, um, I gotta go do this and this and this and this and this and this and ignore everything else. And aside from ignoring my family, my kids, uh, you know, my, my beautiful girlfriend, Amanda, my mom, pretty much everybody. I, I also ignored my, my own personal needs that, that should have been right behind taking care of my family. It should be my family and stuff and then making sure that I'm brushing my teeth, showering, you know, just staying clean, wash your face, behind your ears, your hands, everything. Never, never really phased me. I didn't, didn't think it was a big deal. But the more I think back on it, I, I would go quite a while without having a shower. You know, not a long time, but long enough to wear, not the normal person, like a week, week and a half. And, and, you know, I'm out there sweating, using drugs, being around, you know, other people that are dirty. And it probably wasn't clean, cleanliness at all. Like it, it was unhealthy. Um, one of the big things I can say for for just normal stuff for everybody is take care of your teeth. That's that's one thing I, I, I'm clean, I'm happy, I like I you know, I put on weight. A lot of you who do know me know how much weight I put on. I think I put on almost forty pounds. Even in the last since I've been here in Cape Breton, I've put on forty pounds. So it's not like I you know, since I've I've been clean, but in the past seven months, I've put on 40 pounds, which is ridiculous. So in the past five months, sorry, I've been clean for over seven months now. Um, so yeah, actually it was seven months on the 19th. Now that I think about it, that's crazy. But uh, so yeah, I, I, I look in the mirror, I see, okay, everything's back to normal, except one thing. Now I didn't check my teeth before I did this, but see this? See my teeth? Oh, oh. Uh, no teeth there at all, uh, missing there, missing one there, this is half a tooth, they decayed half here, my jaw clicks when I eat, you probably can't hear it, but it clicks up here when I eat, because, look at the size of my teeth, they should be that high, 
and then my top one should be about there. So that's the one thing that I, I won't, I can't afford. I can't afford to go and get my teeth taken care of even now. And, and when I start brushing my teeth a lot, it, it, it eats away at my, um, all the cavities. And this is why I've lost so many teeth is when I did start taking care of them, I started brushing them like crazy trying to get caught up. It would eat away at the cavities and then my teeth would start falling out. So I, I can barely brush my teeth right now. Um, I'm in fear that I'm going to lose all my teeth just from brushing, believe it or not. Um, and I'm not saying don't brush your teeth. I just mean from, from day one, always brush your teeth. That's one thing that will never grow back or that can never come back is your teeth. You'll have to get fake acrylic teeth, I think it is, um, and whatever else they make it, you know, dentures, um, implants. Um, there's one more, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I can't even get dentures right now. And that's what I want implants. I'd never be able to afford it. Um, if I ever won the lottery or I ever came into money after paying off, you know, old debts and stuff like that, like with cell phones, credit cards, anything like that, my first big thing would be my teeth. After my family's taken care of, that would be the only real thing that I need to do is, is my teeth. I'm embarrassed by them. Um, I think about them every day. Uh, when I was on drugs, I never, never crossed my mind. It was, how am I going to get high today? What am I doing? Oh, I got money, money coming in. When I wake up, it'll be there. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm going to wait till the money's in the bank account, stuff like that. But with this now, every day I rub my tongue on my teeth and, and it, it's embarrassing. It's, it really is. Before you know my front teeth, I give it a couple of years and, and my teeth are going to be gone. They're all going to be gone. And then, you know, if I can't afford dentures, I'm going to be... All I'm saying is, is please, if you, you don't use drugs or if you do use drugs, please take care of your, your, hygiene, your hygiene. Brush your teeth every day, twice a day after every meal if you can. Um, you know, shower every couple of days. You have to shower every day. You know, it's expensive. Plus, you're not dirty unless you get dirty. So if you literally don't do much, if you work full time in a scrapper like I used to or you're doing something that, that you get sweaty and stuff, then yeah, I, I would recommend showering. But if you're not doing much or, or you're not breaking a sweater, you know, you don't have to shower every day, you know, save the environment, shower every other day, every three days, whatever. If you're working, shower every day. I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I used to, every day I got home from work, as a graduate, I had to shower. I was covered in black soot and just rust and everything. So, um, now I'm just going to touch base real quick. And, and this is going to go towards, you know, people that do use drugs. If you use needles or you smoke crack, you smoke crystal meth, anything out of a pipe, even actually for you guys that smoke marijuana and just marijuana, be careful who you're sharing with. Cause if someone has HIV or hep C or they say it's blood to blood, I actually, uh, I know somebody that, that was strictly just a crackhead and, uh, I shouldn't say it like that. Who, who smoke crack. I, I, I'm sorry for using that. And believe it or not, from among people that smoke, they, they call each other crackheads. So that's just something that I remember from them. But, uh, somebody who has a crack addiction, correction, crack addiction. Um, sorry, I got myself on track, off track there. Um, so the person I knew had, you know, had a crack addiction. So someone else, so they were sharing a pipe, smoking together back and forth, or he was hooking this person up. I can't remember. He's giving them some, they didn't have a pipe. They wanted a pop. So they, they smoked it, gave it to him right away. He put it on, he smoked it. Uh, didn't know that she had HIV and she just so happened to have a cut in her mouth. Don't know how she got it, but he had a canker sore on an inside or, or no, it was, I can't remember if it was a canker sore or a cold sore. So it was some sort of open wound around his mouth and his mouth. Two weeks later, he went and got tested uh, because they were doing free testing for HIV at the clinic and he was clean. He never had anything before then. He didn't share needles, never shared nothing. Ended up sharing a pipe with this person and he got hep C. Um, it can be treated now, so it can be, you know, cured, but at the time it was, you know, it's devastating. So it could have been HIV, it could have been AIDS. So if, if you do use, please don't share needles, please don't share pipes, don't, don't, nothing of that. And if you smoke marijuana, unless it's your brother or your best friend who's never been around that and you know this person for years, do not share anything, anything, because you can catch a disease and that can change your, your life forever, you know, um... I, I know quite a few people who've caught, I know somebody that died of AIDS actually, and uh, for the longest time I didn't know they had it, for about a year and a half, and then uh, they had it for seven, eight years before then, but, or HIV or AIDS, I can't remember, but they ended up dying from it, 
um, but I was around them when I was using. I never, obviously, when I used, I never shared anything with anybody, um, pipes or anything like that. Uh, but it, it would have been that that easy. It would have been that easy for <clears throat> me or someone else to catch AIDS or uh, HIV. So the point of this video is just personal hygiene. Please, please, please stay clean. Brush your teeth. Brush your friggin' teeth. Please, I beg you, brush your teeth because you're going to end up with teeth like mine. My life has gone completely back to normal. Everything's back to normal. I have my loving family. We got our own house. You know, everything's just right in line. Aside from debt that I accumulated, like, like you know, with cell phone stuff like that. That's still not back to normal. That'll probably take me 10 years to get caught back, paid up. But that's just part of life. Even people who don't do drugs have debt like that. Anyway, the number one thing is my teeth. One thing I cannot get back is my teeth. And neither can you. To be honest with you, neither can you. Um, anyway, that's all I got on this video today. Um, I appreciate all you guys for watching. Uh, you know, a lot of people might not watch to the end because I get they are long. Um, but it's nice for me to be able to sit here and just kind of talk and, and, and kind of give you guys the ins and outs of, of everything I've been through and, and the do's and the don'ts. One of the big don'ts is don't do drugs. You know what I mean? Just don't do them. But if you happen to do them, my videos might be able to help you. Um, I was young when I started and I wish that I had something like this uh, to go off of. I mean, that's to say if I actually would sit down and watch it because you're not even thinking about stuff like this. But um, I, ju I do hope that this can get out there to, to certain people and they can, you know, they can watch this and maybe change their mind about using drugs or if you use, do it a different way. So again, thank you everyone. Stay safe out there and uh, I appreciate all your support. Love you guys. Bye.